All right, guys, episode seven of WandaVision. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, looking at the first six episodes, like, it's cool to see the progression. Like I said, this episode is basically like a modern day show like Modern Family or The Office, where these characters will sit there and then it will show them sitting alone, looking at the camera, talking to the camera about the situation they're uh, going with and what's happening in, with their characters. And I think that that is a great new addition to the show because I really love the show so far and I've loved all the different eras of TV shows that they've done. So this is a great one. And I love too that this I think is the most funniest episode because Elizabeth Olsen and uh, Catherine Hahn are the ones that specifically get the get a lot of the spotlight in terms of like cutting to them, like talking to the camera. And they both have really great lines. Uh, for example, like Wanda will be just so annoyed that sh that the world is kind of changing around her because she's losing control of the reality. And she just says a lot of modern stuff, but because Elizabeth Olsen is so funny in it, it, it works really, really well. And Catherine Hahn, like I said, it's great. And this episode really shows off her humor very well. And I like how she, there's a scene where she takes Wanda's kids to take care of him because Wanda needs to be alone for a while. And she says, I won't bite. And then on can then it cuts to her talking alone with the camera saying, yeah, I bit a kid once. <laughs> like, that's a great joke. And I think that those two actors in particular in this episode really, really sell it. And again, this is going to be another spoiler video, like every other episode review. But uh, like I said, it's like the Modern Family and The Office type of TV show, which is awesome. Um, it's really hilarious. Um, I like, too, that you've got Monica Rambeau, and I like how she tries to go into the hex uh, with a vehicle, but she can't. And then she goes in herself, and it's like a weird kind of thing where, like, she starts becoming, like, she, like, her, it shows kind of like her past, like, stuff from Captain Marvel whenever she's a kid. It shows her talking to the person whenever she returns back from the, from the blip about her mom dying, and, like, it's a really cool visual moment of her running through this hex, gaining a power and ability while showing all of her character things off, like showing all of her character progression off. And I think it's really well done. And I really like this character a lot. And it's really cool where we're going to see her go next because I really enjoyed her in this in this show. Like, I think she's awesome. And the actress, I don't know her. I can't remember her name, but she's great. And I don't know if I've seen her in anything else, but she's awesome. Um... Oh, I'd actually take that back. I looked up this actress, um, and I don't think I've seen anything that she was in. I know she's in She Rock, which is like a Spike Lee movie, and I didn't get to see that one, but I know that she's been in some stuff. But I don't think I've seen her in anything, um, anything else besides this. But she's really awesome, and she's really a great, great new uh, addition to the Marvel universe. I really like that character a lot. Um, I like, too, that Darcy and Vision kind of gain a, like, companionship, like a friendship, because Darcy sucked into this, into the Hex, like, in the last episode, and then Vision uses his powers to get her out of it, so now they're both trying to figure out how to stop, how to save Wanda. And I really just like their back and forth, and Darcy is always funny, I think she's always great in these movies, and I really like that moment where Vision is just like... Like, he's, he's talking to the camera, and he's like, what am I doing? And, like, he pulls off um, the little little recorder and just is like, what is going on? And then he throws it away, and then he just flies away. And then Darcy just looks out the window of the van that they stole and is just like, oh, okay, I guess we'll meet up at the place. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was it was pretty hilarious. And, like I said, she's great in all these, all these Marvel things, so I'm glad to see her in this. Um, Jimmy Woo doesn't get as much as, of the spotlight in this episode, but he's in it. He's fun. He's good in it. Um, but I like that between both of them. I liked too that it, you get a good job of like having Monica go into this, into this hex again and Wanda can't stop her. Wanda can't stop her. And now she is there telling Wanda, like I've had losses too. Like I have lost, I lost my mom. I lost, I lost everybody, but that means it's the strongest moment that I've had in my life that I've gotten over with. And I just thought that for a Marvel show, like, I just thought that was a great, great moment. Like, I really, really love that moment where she's like, we both had losses, we've got to get over it, we've got to get past it. 
Um, I just thought that worked very, very well for the two characters, for both of them. And I thought it was something that I didn't think of. Like, these two characters have lost a lot of people. Um, her with, uh, Wanda with Vision and Monica with her mom. Uh, and I thought that's really, just a really cool connection between both of them. Um, so I like that as well. But then you get to the big reveal of the episode where you realize that Agnes takes away, um takes away Wanda and tells her the kids are in the basement and she goes into the basement and this is and it's like a mythical like I don't know what century like 18th century like or no like 16th century like looking underground like with all these purple vines everywhere and then with something that looks like a book and I'm hoping that I wonder if that'll go into Doctor Strange into the multiverse of madness I think it's going to but uh you get the reveal that Agnes is the one all along doing it, pulling the strings. And again, Catherine Hahn is so great with her in this show. She's great in everything, but man, I love the fact that she is a kooky, out of this world, just crazy witch. And she's like, she was the one all along doing, pulling all the strings with Wanda in this sit in this scenario. And that's really funny. And then you've got a song that's kind of just off kilter, kind of like old style song in black and white where like well, at first in black and white because it starts black and white show and then to color but it shows her pulling the strings like doing all these things and it even shows her you like having a uh, Pietro there but it's uh Evan Peters Pietro so I wonder if she created him or if he's literally that character version from the X-Men movies and he just brought into this multi this universe we still haven't got that resolution yet but I really wonder what they're going to do with that. Like, if that's going to be a reveal. Because people keep saying that the Quicksilver and this is going to be a Mephisto. Which, I I don't know, maybe? I, again, I don't know much about the comics. I just heard he's like the devil, basically, of the Marvel Universe. So, that'll be interesting to see where they go with this. But we've only got one episode left. We're in the long run now. Or in the home run. So, we're finally ready to see where the reveal goes and what's going to happen. Because I really want to know i'm really curious just because i've really loved the show so far the show has been fantastic in a lot of ways it's been very fresh for marvel and i don't dislike any marvel movies like the mcu movies there's some i like more than others but they i feel like they sometimes do kind of fall into that category of sometimes just the same kind of movie and this one being a show i felt like got enough interesting things in it like and doing the thing of different time periods of TV shows, I think is really cool. And the people got, they got involved and in just how they integrate these characters and use them in this TV show, I think is really well done. So I'm excited to see the series finale, or I guess the season finale. I don't know if there's going to be a series. There might be, but I don't think they've said anything yet. Because I know that the next thing with Wanda is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and maybe Spider-Man 3. So we will see, but as of this, I'm excited to get to the last episode. So I can't wait till I talk about it next week with you guys. I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff revealed. They still haven't even revealed who the big character was because they thought it was um, Evan Peters Quicksilver, but then Paul Bettany said, no, it's another big Marvel character. And I'm like, okay, so who is it going to be? Is it going to be like Magneto? Is it going to be somebody from the X-Men movies? Is it going to be like somebody from the MCU? What's going to happen? But I'm excited to see where it goes regardless. So uh, that's my take on Episode 7, WandaVision, and I'll see you guys next week.